All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to another Slay the Spire daily. So, this one's gonna be a bit odd. The defect has fallen off the list for now. But we've got the Silent with Diverse. Cards are not restricted by your character. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I figured I'd try it. And if I fail, which I probably will, uh, then we'll mess around and try other things. Uh, main reason why I'm doing this instead of just another... Uh, Instead of just another uh, daily, or not daily, another run with a defect is, well, I could get some defect cards here, and I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to turn out. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, we're probably going to skip the, sh uh, we'll see if we skip the shop. I'm going to go down that mystery machine, though, see what I got waiting for me. Should probably turn this off. Let's see. It's been a while since I've played any of the, char the other characters. I will admit, I actually don't have that much interest in playing uh, the Silent. Maybe when some new cards get added, maybe when some other stuff gets done. Um, but this is probably going to be the only daily run with another character that I do. Just out of sheer fatigue, I guess would be the word. I've just been playing, you know, this game for near on 200 episodes. And, ooh, Fear Potion. They changed the visuals. Good. Find some potions. Liquid bronze. Three thorns. Let's go with those. The block potion might be nice, but we capped out. Speaking of capped out, let's go this way. Okay. I can probably fight this guy. Let's do vulnerable on him now that I'm thinking about it. I was gonna I was just gonna wail on him normally and I was like, wait a second, no. I could probably use some of these things. Anyway, I should probably mention we are listening to the Transistor soundtrack today. I got rid of all the songs with lyrics, even though they're arguably some of the best songs. Ah, Ninja Scroll. Helpful. Uh, remove a card from my deck. Sure. Let's get rid of a strike. I'm not going to have a whole lot of cards to work with here. But this will have to do. Let's smith up, neutralize. I'm not injured. I got some good potions, too. Let's, let's go after the mid-boss. See how that goes. Probably poorly. Who knows? Okay. Neutralize him down. Shiv him up. Okay. He's gonna hit me for eight, so I should I should block before I do anything. Rash. Yeah, that ninja scroll is going to make a massive difference. The amount of uh, strength I can generate. I can generate one strength. The beginning of every every round. It's pretty good. Alright. Like a villain. Get her done. Let's see. Oh, he's vulnerable too. I should have considered using the uh, strength potion. I should have used the strength potion now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, I would have been able to do much more damage there. Alright, whatever. It's not the end of the world. It just hurts a bit. Just hurts a little bit more. Yeah, no, I should have used that strength potion. It would have made a massive difference. Oh well, we'll we'll kill him within a, a round or two anyway. And I'm not going to take too much damage here. Hopefully I'll get some good relics along the way. Yeah, okay, 8 damage. It's not bad. And we get Giria. And we also get Meteor Strike. I don't have any orb slots. Meteor Strike is pointless. Grab Masterful Stab. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to use it. But we'll go with it. Okay, and we get Pendip. I'm feeling pretty gutsy here. Alright. Let's drink up. Alright, we want to kill the guy in the back. Let's see, I have Survivor. Let's avoid taking the damage, because I'd like to I'd like to gear you for the bonus strength. This is going to be a hefty strength run on the silent. It's actually kinda of helpful. Okay. So do that. Can I yes. 
just focus on killing that guy. Okay, so master masterful stab might not be a bad idea for this one, especially if I get some energy gen. We'll see. And only a little bit of damage, so I could probably reasonably gear you if I wanted to. Probably should have used the pen nib on this guy, now that I'm thinking about it. That would have done a lot more damage. Oh well. I mean, we're still more or less kicking ass here. Starting with Shuriken is incredibly helpful. If I could get, uh... Speed Potion, Interest interesting. Aggregate. Aggregate would be interesting, but this is going to be a very small deck. Let's go Slice. It fits in with the whole strength-based system. Um, capacitor is cheap. As weird as it is, I'm going to get Rampage. Turbo would be nice for the energy gen. Some of these would be kind of interesting. Turnip, Capacitor, so I could maybe use some orbs. I'm going to go Rampage. And probably just stop there. Because Dropkick is only useful very occasionally. Turbo would be nice. But it's stealing from the future in kind of a bad way. And I can't channel any Frosts if I don't have any Orb Slots. I feel like for diverse runs, the uh, other characters should almost start with... Uh, Okay, 14 damage. Kill them both. There we go. Duvu doll. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. Do we smith or do we lift? I'm gonna smith up Rampage. No. No, it's not worth it. I'm gonna lift. Because I'm not gonna use Rampage as much as I'm gonna use that strength bonus. Probably? Maybe. I don't know. Hard to say, but... My assumption is... The higher my strength bonus, the better. Probably should have actually saved the, uh... Grumman for last. Extra dex. We'll just kill this guy. Be nice if I could get the gremlin horn. Okay, so we take a, a smidge of damage. Not really a problem. We're good to go. Flies. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to get rid of some of my my strikes if I can. And who are we up against? We're up against him. I'm gonna go for the strength. This might screw me over, but I've got I've got some potions. Specifically liquid bronze. Let's pop that. Roll shivs. Character has really strong openings. Dang. Could have maybe timed that a little bit better, but th this is fine. Yeah, getting getting bag of marbles is absolutely a good idea for this one. Neutralize him down, strike him. I'm going to take some damage in favor of hurting him really bad. And I can strike him. But we've got Rampage rolling up. I'm just going to... I'm just going to wait. Rampage, neutralize, and slice. Doesn't really do much, but that's okay. I also have that speed potion that I can use, but I'm not sure when. Defend. Survivor. Who's the strike? Strike him, and masterful stab for a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, this is working out. It's weird. Normally, I, I never attack this guy uh, during this section, but... Uh, the further I get into the game, the more I realize it's actually best to hit him when he's in, um... When he's closed like that, sort of. Essence of Steel, good stuff. Fission or Dark Embrace? Neither of these are helpful, I think. Dark Embrace could be great with the Ninja Scroll, but chances of the chances of me getting Dark Embrace early are very low. And let's grab White Beast Statue, because that has become considerably better than it used to be. Okay, so I do have some money. I wouldn't mind going for a shop. Uh, let's look up. 
I'll probably max out Gyrio within a bonfire or two. But we could go here. Two bonfires. And a shop. Otherwise... Yeah, so we'll go here and decide what we want to do. Because if it's a shop or a mystery, who knows? Okay, this, we've got boosted damage. Rampage, shivs. I doubt I'm going to kill him this round. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. That's unfortunate. I got close. Right, let's neutralize him. Keep with the strikes. Happy Flower is doing some work. It'd be lovely if I could get some extra uh, defensive cards here. That's okay. I can kill this guy. We get Whetstone, so Slice and Strike. We also get a Swift Potion. Cool. Okay, so we do. We have Pen Nib again. Let's give him the. Glorious what for. I almost killed him. <laughs> I mean, we got him in the end, but still. Okay, max HP, sure. In retrospect, I could have actually gone for Cursed Decay. Decay kind of sucks, though. Oh, right, I was going to go to the shop. Oh, well. And Caridian kind of works out for me. And we're going to hit the bonfire first, this time around. And we'd get a free barricade into my discard pile. Okay, can't do Masterful Stab. I guess I'll just do that. Because unfortunately, I don't have the uh, the Strength Gen. Er, I, I don't have the... Uh, ability to get rid of that many cards. Working on it, though. Uh, let's see. Some nice defensive cards would be lovely here. Unfortunately, I'm probably just going to be collecting relics like crazy. Let's, let's get rid of the speed potion for the explosive potion. I probably should have used it, now that I think about it. But yeah, let's go here, and we're actually going to rest. Also gets me the Ancient Tea Set, which is an incredible boon for the first round against this sucker. Okay, and we get a self-repair, so I'd like to have that. Let's grab the Essence of Plated Armor and that. Might as well get rid of some of my... Okay. 16 and 30 damage. Slice does damage. Damn. Well, I'm just going to roll that as much as possible. Okay, half his health in one go. Not bad. This is going to suck a bit more. I guess we've got the plated armor, so we avoid one of the hits. I was hoping for that self-repair to roll by. But we might not get so lucky. Yeah, it's better to kill him than to get the self-repair. Hey, Dreamcatcher! Okay, that's helpful. Also, double tap. Also very helpful. Given the run. Okay. So we've got... Pen nib. So let's start with. I could double tap. I got four energy, so let's save double tap for the masterful stab. I think. No. I'm gonna science here. Let's double tap. Strike. So the second strike, I was doubled as well, I think. I could be wrong. I don't... Uh, I get... Nope. I don't get to kill Sneko on the first turn. I got close, though. I got real close. Killed him on the second turn. And we get the attack potion. Oh, helpful. I really like these potions. They're fun. Uh, let's see. And we get Juzu Bracelet. Good stuff. Centennial Puzzle. Yeah, we're not exactly getting the, um... The greatest of cards. 
we get a loop, which is kind of pointless. I, I like this. I like the diverse daily mod, but I feel like um, they're gonna need to retool it so some of these cards are possible. It's like a little bit of proc gen would go a long way. And um. Let's see, do we do the attack potion? No. We'll just defend. He's gonna tank up. I probably could have actually... Eh, I don't know if I could have killed the Spirit Guardian there. Now that I'm thinking about it. Would have done some harm to him at the very least. Can I kill him? Yes. Perfect. Okay, we do a lot of damage and we get an energy potion. Eh, I like the new art for that. Okay, do we rest up? What do we do? All right, so we've got hmm, we got two fights. I could up my strength, or I could upgrade Double Tapper Rampage. Let's let's go for that last piece of strength. My my first round is my strongest, and then after that, Rampage is by necessity my um, oh Infinite Blades. Unfortunately, I start with too many cards when I, when I do one of these. Oh, whoops. I just realized I probably could have maybe done that better. Well, we'll see. I can at least hit him with a Masterful Stab, which will almost kill him. Gets real close. Yeah, I probably should... Ah, I don't know if I should have started with the Shurikens or not. Or Shurikens, the, uh, the Ninja Stars. Ancient Potion. Yeah, okay, I, I do like the new potion art. I'm kind of surprised they managed to have this much turnaround. I guess this is what the artist was working on yesterday. Uh, let's skip the ancient potion for now. I want to bring these into the boss fight with me, probably. We'll see. Okay, so it's just Sneko. We've already fought one of these, and we already know how to completely uh, stomp him. Mainly just wait for, wait for the first round to go by. Okay, so we've got... Cheap Rampage, and Strikes, and everything is good. And we get Ice Cream, and a Gambler's Brew. I'll live without the Gambler's Brew. Okay. So I should probably rest. I'm gonna grab Body Slam. It's free, it applies my strength, and I can use it after blocks for some damage. Okay, and we get Berserk. Not immediately the most helpful thing, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Might be able to pull this off. We'll see. Let's drink that. Let's go shiving. Hit him with a rampage. Because that doesn't scale damage. Yeah, the masterful stab would do a ton of damage, but... No dice. There we go. We got him We got him down a substantial amount. And we've got, we got some strength. And some energy. Okay, he is gonna hit me though. This would probably be a good point for Sucker Punch. Hello. Uh, let's Sucker Punch that last bit of weakness off of him. And then probably go for his orbs. I don't have a whole lot of rare cards. But I should probably, uh. <laughs> I don't think I've. Oh, he did actually hit me there. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of rare cards, but I should probably respect. Respect? Uh, my bother was with, with Berserk. I should probably just kill this this little guy. It's me double tap. A little late for double tap. And we'll just survivor masterful stab. It doesn't matter. And we'll just wait. Okay, he's gonna get scarier, but that's fine. I just want to kill this guy. Get a little bit of block. Yeah, we're not going to perfect this one, but we're going to do okay. Uh, let's see. Let's just hit him with whatever. It's more important that I hit him with as many attacks as I possibly can. Ugh. Especially leading up to that. Ow. Not much I can do about it. That's okay. I do have, I do have the energy potion, but I'm going to survive this hit. Good thing I rested at that bonfire. Okay, neutralize. 
Survivor, get rid of the defend. Double tap, masterful stab. And, oh, it has to be his only card. Interesting. Masterful stab does not work with double tap. That's unfortunate. Okay, we get a skill potion and we get reboot or fusion. Let's go reboot. Again, orbs would be interesting, but not really that helpful here. Now, I don't have much energy gen. Black Star would be interesting going for extra relics, but I've got a ton. Let's go Runic Dome. My goal is to use as many cards as possible. Okay, now I've got a lot of money. I should probably go shopping. I like my chances on this one. One mid-boss, but a bonfire immediately afterwards. As well as a uh, second shop. Because relics don't interest me that much. A thousand cuts would be lovely. I... I wish... If I could actually get rid of the Ring of the Snake, that'd be nice. And we don't even have the starting backpack. Actually, where... How am I starting with all these cards? Like, I should only start with seven... Oh, ten cards is the max, though. Okay, and let's just... No, he's probably actually going to hit me. He attacks on the first round. I was, I was gonna... I wasn't gonna block, and then I was like, wait a second, what am I doing? I knew I was... I knew I was doing it wrong. Mercury Hourglass and Power Potion. I should probably chug, chug one of these. Okay. Let's start with the shoes. I got Reboot. We might as well do Body Slam. Then we do Reboot. I don't know if he's going to hit me this round. But he's... He might. Probably not. I think he's going to summon an orb. Considering that was the starter round. Okay, and let's just kill him. Perfect. Okay, we don't get the Swiftness Potion, but I'll live. Uh, and we want to go this way. Because this gets us two shops. Go for the Exploder first. And let's do the Skill Potion. Power Potion probably helps a lot. Unfortunately, I have no orb slots. So that makes it a bit crappier. Let's defend a bunch. Let's reboot. The Strike would be nice, but I bet I could get uh, some easy, cheap, whatever cards. There we go. I managed to take out two of them in the same turn. Good stuff. Uh, let's see, I could do Body Slam, I could do Rampage. I could... Yeah, I... Diverse needs to be changed. Unfortunately, I almost feel like uh, if you have Diverse, you should just start with three orb slots. Just baseline. I'm just gonna wait. Heat Sings probably isn't that helpful. Let's do Defend Survivor. Let's get rid of this strike. Neutralize. And strike. Okay, good. Don't take any more damage than I have to. Unceasing Top. Good stuff. Works really well with Ice Cream. So what else do we have? Claw. Claw Plus is real good. Strange Spoon would be interesting, but maybe a mistake. Let's grab Claw and Flash of Steel, and then probably save the rest of our money for whatever the next shop is. Fight for a Relic? Sure. Okay, I got a Power Potion, a Block Potion. I got some stuff. Kill him. Hurt him. Uh, I'll probably use the block potion on this first round. Try and hit him as much as possible. A little bit more. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have rebooted, but I guess I killed him anyway. So it's not the end of the world. 
I, I could have almost taken him out, and then I was like, let's just hit the reboot, and I'm like, wait a second, what am I, do what am I doing? I'm stupid. Uh, let's see, 28? Yeah, I, I won't take damage from this. And we get Thread Needle. Ooh, helpful. Cold Snap or Boot Sequence. In retrospect, I'm not sure if Boot Sequence is the best starting card I could go with. No, it works really well with Body, body Slam, and it gets itself out of the pool. So I think this is a good idea. Chuck a Poison Potion at him, just in case he survives. I am pretty confident in my ability to just roll things right now. There we go. That was some damage. And we get Pantograph. Ooh, helpful. Sweeping Beam or Quick quick Slash. Let's go Sweeping Beam, especially because we're up against uh, Donu and Dekka. And what do we upgrade? Double tap? Yeah, double double tap. Okay. Let's start with the obligatory shiv spam. Let's see. I'll have to play boot sequence and everything. Oh, I could have... Well, it's okay. We've, we've got the, uh... We've got ice cream and stuff, so it's hardly an issue. I double tap again. Rampage. Slice. Do we do combust? Sure. And body slam. Neutralize. Strike. Flash of steel. I almost killed him. Can I do anything? Let's drink the energy potion. There we go. I didn't know if he was going to hit me or not, but I knew I was going to get a potion, so... Figured I'd make it work. Okay. So what do we get from you? Magnetism is a hard hard card to, to skip here. Heavy Blade is also incredible. Petroishka... Uh, Mango would be nice. Okay, let's grab Magnetism, Heavy Blade. This is my last shop, so I could do Bottle of Flames, I always start with an attack. Do I do Claw or Rampage? one coin off of getting... Well, let's grab Bottled Flame. And... Let's go Rampage. Okay, Cloak and Dagger, I guess. Okay. Deck's looking good. Duplicate a card in my deck. Yes, please. So we've got options. I could I could go with extra claw for more claw damage. I could go with extra double tap. Let's duplicate claw. Hilariously, I've been wanting to do a claw deck for ages. And so having the opportunity here is really amusing to me. I'll have to upgrade Magnetism. I was gonna upgrade Rampage, but I think upgrading Magnetism is probably the better idea. Okay, apply Vulnerable, again. Survivor, the Defend, Double Tap, Flash of Steel, Heavy Blade, and they're all dead. Perfect. And we get the singing bowl. Really isn't that helpful. I'm gonna lose the attack potion for an essence of steel. Oh good. I can I can smith up more uh the magnetism and I'd like to do the I'd like to do a lot. Okay. Let's start with magnetism. Boot sequence. Pop the power potion gets me a buffer. Eh, kinda interesting. Let's see. 60 damage. Oof. 
Well, I don't have a choice here. I could end my turn. Hopefully I get a free card or two. There we go. And we get Gambling Chip and a Regen Potion. It's not bad for going into a fight like this. So do we upgrade Cloak and Dagger or do we upgrade Rampage? Let's upgrade Rampage. It's been patient. Not exactly the word I'd use here, but whatever. Okay. Oh. So I can get rid of the Defense and Heavy Blade. It's a little premature for Heavy Blade. Okay, and we get Reboot, which is almost more helpful. Okay. So I gotta go with Donut. Do Boot Sequence. Get that out of there. Rampage. Cloak and Dagger. Magnetism. We're gonna want that. And then let's... Now let's Reboot. Okay, Survivor, a Strike. Strike. Body Slam for a but ton of damage. And then Masterful Stab. I've got enough block. Let's save the energy for the next round. Yeah, Runic, Runic Pyramid was the right choice on this one. So Panache. Demon Form. Heavy Blade. 44 damage. Or we block twice. Now yeah, let's work on killing him. This is going to hurt a bit. But we're stupidly powerful. So I don't have a whole lot of regrets here. So what do, you, what do we do? What does the least amount of damage? Claw. Double tap. Slice. Flash of steel. Neutralize. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of anything else there, but that's fine. Do master of strategy. Get that out of here. And I've been holding on to sweeping beam this entire time, and I just haven't been using it. In fact, I think that's the first time I've ever even used sweeping beam this entire run. Well, that's okay. This deck had this deck had a lot more momentum, a lot more oomph than I thought it was going to. I was like, oh, diverse and binary. That's never a good combination. Oh yeah, diverse, binary, and vintage. But we kind of just vanilla our way through. I had fun on that one. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the next Slay the Spire daily. I don't know if... Uh, what do you guys think I should do? Dailies or... Uh, Dailies or or um or defect runs because I could go for either. I like dailies because they're interesting, but I like defect because he's more interesting. I don't know. We'll we'll see how how it boils down from here. For now, like I was saying, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.